Well, we're less than a mile away from the CVG International Airport and about a thousand or so feet from where we're standing right now is where TWA flight 128 crashed. Now a historical marker has been put up, but today an opportunity to remember the 70 victims. It was a cold November night 50 years ago. Well, I looked out the window and I could see the Looks like the whole place was on fire. This whole orchard was a flame. TWA flight 128 from Los Angeles to CVG. Steve Kupak never made it. I was, we were landing, and next thing I know, I was standing out in the snow. And the plane was on fire. Of the 82 on board, 70 died. Gilbert Galagos. Today, a chance to honor Kendall Haley. A group gathered friends, family, first responders, and survivors. Harold Vines, a firefighter, remembers the scene. We did our best we could in the third explosion. All hell broke loose. In the mess, Vines remembers a tiny girl in a tree after the crash. Didn't get you out of the tree, but somebody did. I was the baby. I was 15 months old and I was the youngest survivor from the plane crash. Tracy Smith Eby, too young to remember, but the crash stays with her. I just remember hearing all the stories, how I was um, sitting on my grandmother's lap and that she did not make it. Then nine years old, Scott Wolf's parents were both on the flight. His mother survived. His father, Dr. Frederick Wolf, didn't. He was a loving son and big brother. He served in the Army during World War From II. A tragedy brought them Go together. Dr. <laughs> the past 50 years, I have thought of my father every day. I always think that the, I'm here for a reason. I wish I knew what that reason was, but uh, never figured that out yet. But I know that, that there was a reason I survived. In Hebron, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.